While diversity is more than equality, diversity and in the intercultural church is also more than just fighting oppression and exclusion. Because actually, becoming intercultural is an incredibly enriching experience for all involved, especially those of us who are doing the welcoming. In fact, many times we learn more, we gain more, we grow more when we are welcoming than those who are welcomed. So as opposed to thinking about deficits, now we move to seeing the strengths we see that we aren't called to be the intercultural church for someone else's benefit. We are called for us, for the transformation it will have on us, for a chance to gain all the gifts we are missing out on when we have churches that aren't open to diversity. sitting here who are thinking right now, well this is great talk, great conference, but interculturalism, that's a Toronto thing, or that's a Vancouver thing, or that's a city thing, or that's somewhere else. Because in my community, we don't have diversity. We don't have large amount of people immigrating. It's someone else's issue. And to that, I would actually say, respectfully, I think you're wrong. Because interculturalism is not just about race. It's not just about being born in Canada or born outside of Canada. Diversity, then, is more than ethnic diversity. When we think about our identity, who we are as human beings, there's actually many parts of it. And we're diverse, any individual is diverse in the different cultures and elements they have. So let me just talk about myself. When I think about myself, I identify as a man, uh, I identify as a Canadian, I identify as someone who's heterosexual, I identify as a black Canadian, I identify as someone who's seven generations Canadian, I identify as a so-called mixed race Canadian, I'm able-bodied, I'm someone who's Christian, but I'm also someone who's religiously pluralist, I'm someone who has Caribbean roots, I'm someone who's middle class, I'm someone who's part of the millennial generation. There's a lot to my identity. It's not as simple as the color of your skin or where you're from. And those are all parts of my identity. So there's actually, if I would look at it and write it out, there's many cultures that I'm a part of. And some parts are part of the majority Canadian culture, and some are not. And so I really struggle, and I've done a little bit of travel in Canada to most of the different regions, and I really struggle to imagine any Canadian community that is totally uniform in its culture. It seems like it's an excellent technique for all of those who, of us who feel on the receiving end of dissing not to recognize the commonality of our oppression. If all of those who were oppressed from the myriad of reasons that we operate with, if we all came together and recognized that we might, oh, God forbid, unite, then possibly change would happen.